Okay, my beautiful hubby Jazz, take three nice long breaths. Using the heel of my hand into the soft tissue. Just right. Now go into cupping. Okay, so some picking up. Up and down. It feels so good to relieve any tension under the cranium. Smoothing over the scalp, neck and shoulders. And then palm of hand rubbing to the temporals, not dissolving, melting away. Happy Christmas. Hi, Harmonies. Hubby Jez and I are here today to give you a beautiful Indian head massage experience, or rather give Hubby Jez a beautiful massage experience. What do you think about that? Wonderful. Yeah. Always. Oh, <laughs> he's, you're always game for whatever comes your oh, way. Oh yeah. 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 Amazing. Sit there, have this treatment. Yeah. Look happy. <laughs> I don't say that. You no, just generally I do just, look happy. I'm happy all the time. <laughs> Anyway, this is our Christmas one. Got my Christmas t-shirt on. And look, we can look at this camera too. Hi guys. Hi guys. So I'm going to be starting off with the back massage, then onto the shoulders, the arms, the neck, the beautiful scalp, finishing off with the face. So see you through to the other end where we're gonna ask Jez if he saw any colors and how you feel. Sound good? Okay. Great. <laughs> okay, my beautiful hubby Jez, take three nice long breaths. Mm, so feeling an amazing energy, an abundant colour all around the aura, especially around the Sahasra chakra of the top of the head, and now down to the throat chakra. I'm feeling a deep resonance like a beautiful vibration. Now working to the back. That's lovely. Carry on taking some lovely long breaths. using the heel of my hand into the soft tissue across the top of the trapezius from the deltoid, down the side of the spine, under the scapula. These areas can sometimes feel a little tickly almost, and that tends to be where there's tense muscle that doesn't want to relax and it's resisting the massage and it gives the client a little tickly feeling and across the shoulders it can feel quite firm and tight but the heat being produced now is wonderful 
nice and warm. And then all fingers together, strongly into that fascia. Scissoring under the bottom of the angel wing, up in between the scapula and the spine. Strongly, warmly, in fact, it's getting quite hot over to the base of the neck. You have to be quite strong to do these treatments. There's a lot of strength and heat, a lot of activation of those biceps, triceps, and into my back. But I like to think it's treating me at the same time. How's it feeling, Jazz? Mm, it feels great. And it is a little bit tickly, like you said. There's, it's. Mm, I thought it might be. Yeah, certainly down the, the scapula, it's like it's yeah. moving toxins around it, or something. Exactly, it's the toxins moving that makes it feel tickly. Interesting. Yeah, I thought I picked up a little bit of that. Mm. And there's areas of tightness, aren't there, like across the top, especially your left. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I know you're left-handed, but you tend to use your right, but that doesn't feel as bad. It's here. Mm. Can you feel that? Yeah, I've done a lot, of, uh, a lot of physical work recently. Yeah? What have you been doing? Well, mainly garden stuff. And uh, it's a lot of repetitive shoulder work. Moving leaves. Moving leaves, basically. It's autumn. Well, going into winter now, but there's a lot of big trees around, around us and we have all their leaves come into our garden and from some of our trees. Absolutely beautiful, wouldn't have it any other way, but it does create a lot of leaf. Okay, so going back to that C shape, smoothing over the area that we've just activated and agitated. And now it's all warm, we're going to go into the, the percussion moves. We're just going to turn you a little. Yay! How's that? Feels great. Not hurting? No, no, it's just right. How would it be if I went on the scapula itself? Is that all right? Yeah, that's much? good. No, that's good. Where's the best place? Across the top? It's actually, it's actually following the outline there. That, that outline is amazing. Now, considering you're a drummer, mm. how am I doing? Well, it's better than it was 20 years ago. <laughs> there's, there's almost a beat there. Oh, cheeky. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. It's, it's a good, consistent power. That's the main thing. <laughs> now go into cupping. 
So how does this feel in comparison? Yeah, it feels less, um, less intense actually. But still powerful. Mm. I did realise actually I needed to take a breath. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Yeah. yeah, I think it's definitely the right scapular outline that is is the uh, the toxic tickly one. Round here. Yeah, a bit into here. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. How Amazing. about if I was just to shift it a little, try and relax as much as possible because, oh, you're twizzling, I'll hold you. Because by moving this scapula like this, mm. we're agitating the waste materials, toxins, lactic acid, etc., that sits very happily underneath that flat plate of bone mm. for years and years, and just makes the shoulder blade more stiff and solid, stuck in place. Mm. And the more that we agitate, massage, yoga, move, exercise this area, the more it agitates them and they, they move out of the way and create more freedom and mobility for the shoulders. Mm. Okay, so some picking up. Okay, so I'm just going to pick you up and stretch you out a bit. Pick you up and stretch you out. Pick you up and stretch. How was that? Yeah, amazing. Yeah, I felt good across the chest. Oh, yeah. I should do that to you more often. So nice long breaths. to the C shape. Okay, we're getting rid. We're eliminating. This is a move we normally do to the scalp and hair, but it actually feels wonderful on the back, especially those areas that might feel like they're holding on to tension or ticklish. 
lovely thing about that move is it's unpredictable. The receiver doesn't know where it's going to be touched and therapy treated from one moment to the next. Now coming up to the very top of the trapezius. The trapezius comes in a diamond shape like this. So we're working on the top triangle. Strong thumbs coming out all the way to the shoulder ridge and repeating. Mm, so the top of the scapula comes to here and we're just working just above that into the soft tissue and that's where it feels really good. It can feel quite tight here. And now we're coming up to the shoulder ridge itself. We're going to hook up over to the front while anchoring with my fingers in front of the shoulder ridge. And I'm going to make several sweeping thumb moves with the pad and the length of my thumb coming over the top. It tends to get a bit bony on the shoulder points and a lot of muscle close to the neck that supports the weight of our head and neck and then more bone as we come out to the points. And having done that three times, I'm going to use two fingers to scoop backwards while anchoring with my thumbs. Coming back. And again. And then heels of hands forwards and cream with all the fingers. Pushing forwards. Especially nice at the base of the neck. Strong hands. Picking up and rolling the shoulders forward. And then coming in, whole arms coming up onto tiptoe, pushing the forearms down, widening the shoulders away from each other and down. Coming up, massaging the neck while I'm here, rolling down strongly and down the arms, get rid of that tension. Once more to the neck and down and then we're going to change the movement slightly, going to come up with hands each side of the neck, down and off. Same again. Breathing in. Okay, we're going to come to the arms. So we're doing the right arm and I'm going to take the arm, letting the arm go. Give me the full weight of your whole arm. That's it. Just going to roll at the shoulder. So I'm concentrating at the shoulder, noticing how the elbow is letting go and rolling too. Going to come back. That's it, let go, let go, heavy, 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 heavy. Beautiful. And also noticing how the wrist is letting go, it's completely floppy. Beautiful. And down into the lap, pushing the elbow down. That's it. 
And then coming to the left arm, coming down, picking the arm up at the elbow as well, and moving at the elbow. Lovely. Rolling the shoulder, the wrist is loose, and back the other way. And heavy down, heavy down, pushing at the elbow. And now holding behind, holding at the elbows, letting the weight go, and down. Up and down. One more time. Up and down. Really good. Letting go. Letting go. Letting go. Letting go. So now coming to the neck, holding the head, pushing the thumb forwards over the neck, having already warmed the neck area the sternocleidomastoid and the trapezius muscles. Now coming back with anchoring up the thumb, pulling all the fingers back. And then Pushing with the heel of the hand, just like we did over the shoulders. And into the base of that occiput line round here. It feels so good to relieve any tension under the cranium, under the base, the, the skull. Pushing round forwards over to the cervical lymph factory. Whew. Almost like it needs a good swizzle, deep breath out. Whew. Lovely. Okay, just going to turn you gently. To do the neck at the right side while supporting the head, coming round with that thumb pad again fairly softly at first, just introducing my touch to the neck. And it's obvious as we go down the neck how the muscles are actually stronger, bulkier at the base of the neck. You can feel them really strong here, less so at the top. This is where we can feel little bulky bits of fascia that we want to smooth out and then anchoring with the thumb, pulling with the fingers. How's this feel, Jazz? Yeah, powerful, but... Powerful means too much normally for you. Um, it's slightly on the edge. It's on the edge, but it makes me realise I needed this treatment. Shall I lessen my pressure? No, no, it's good. Okay. It's good. And then heel of hand. Still, while I'm here supporting the head, I'm just going to encourage the head to tilt over towards my hand while pushing the opposite shoulder down. That's it, I'm just pulling the head slightly with my fingers. Let go, let go, let go. And letting it go again. And then stretching the other way. I've got you. So pushing the one shoulder down while just supporting the head and neck in the other direction. And up. 
Okay, supporting yourself nice and level. You should feel much more aligned, balanced now. And then coming on to the scalp. Smoothing over the scalp, neck and shoulders several times. And it's at this point that you may be more aware of colours behind your closed eyelids. And then palm of hand rubbing into the temporals, the temples over the side of the parietals coming back to the occiput. Mm. Strongly but not attempting to pull the hair in any way, just simply warming, introducing my hands to the skin, the scalp and just agitating that fascia so it encourages the fascia, the, the skin of the head and the muscle to let go, release and move with me and same on the, on the top so supporting the head while moving over the parietals and the occiput. We have several sutures in the scalp which are long jagged lines where the cranial bones meet and at these points it just feels so good to have them massaged. Yeah, so sutures look a little bit like fault lines, like wiggly lines over flat earth. And then onto the other side, again still using the palm up and down, warming softly agitating, not putting too much pressure on. How does it feel, Jazz? Very, very stimulating. Yeah? Yeah. Is it good for brain? It's like all, the, all my nerve endings have woken up. Yeah? Do you think this would be good before an interview or an exam? No, it doesn't do much for the hairstyle. <laughs> no, no, OK, maybe not an interview, mm -hmm. but an exam. But an exam, yes. Okay. An online exam. <laughs> okay, and then smoothing, softening backwards from the frontal bone of the forehead up and over. Softening, softening. And of course this is lovely to receive even if we have no hair. So those of us that may have lost some or all hair or shave our heads and in a very mild way even babies that haven't grown their hair yet this will stimulate the hair follicles but obviously follow recommendations for a baby head massage lovely and now I'm going to use three fingers together over the temporals, just around that ear line. So coming forward to the temple, up and over, because there are lots of acupressure points in and around this particular area that will be stimulated and therapy calmed. I'm just going to turn you slightly. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh, 
and on to the right side. This is so good for hair growth, for the health of the skin of the scalp, so any itchiness and psoriasis that we often get in our scalps. Massage is fantastic for bringing blood to the area and therefore health and life. Hmm. And then combing, so using the very short nails I have, just in contact with the skin of the scalp, coming backwards, so going at a medium pace at the moment, not wanting to go too fast, because then it's too stimulating. And now slowing down a little, still using the ends of my fingernails. And I'm continuing the effect down the neck, shoulder and upper back, so that all of the worries and cares that may feel like they're in the head are being dissolved, melting away, evaporating down into the earth to let Mother Earth digest them, get rid, and bring that energy back as good energy. Whew, it's going, it's going. Any cares and worries are dissolving, melting away. And now I'm going to use the heel of my hand up to bring the fascia stretching the whole left side of the head as it stretches up and the right side it's really good looseness there that's so good that bodes well for things like headaches and sleep that there should be less vulnerability to headaches and more accessibility for a good night's sleep. Okay, so now I'm going to do some plucking like we did on the back. And of course we are electrical human beings. We have this energy that buzzes in, on and around us. So this energy that's buzzing, just touching the surface of our head and hair, I'm just agitating a little and it's warming it, moving it into the aura. <sighs> Ready to be relaxed. And now the softest of touches from the front to the back. Just using fingertips.
and coming to the face, just smoothing gently over the jawline. And at this point, you may well see beautiful colours behind closed eyelids. Onto the cheeks. and holding some acupressure points firstly just under the lower lip each side of the mouth of the mouth cavity. The sides of the nose. Into the point in between the eyebrows and then a row of fingers finger pads gently pressing into the central line of the frontal bone while securing the head with the heels of both hands Separating, pressing again. And again. All the way to the temple. And then, once more, smoothing three times over the jawline. The cheeks. Beautifully soft cheeks. And the four. And now securing for some rooting from the Sahasra at the crown of the head and just holding in front of the heart chakra. Feeling into the heart, beautiful green, vibrant energy. And up to Vishuddhi, the throat chakra, a blue energy. And coming up to the third eye, Ajna.
and gorgeous indigo light. And above Sahasra, the crown chakra. Enlightenment, contentment. the shoulders. Oh. oh, how do you feel, Jess? Yeah, bedtime. Bedtime. It's the middle of the day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fantastic. The shoulders and the feeling on the on the scalp is just second to none. Yeah. Um, it just seems to wake up the whole nervous system, nerve right. ending system, in a positive way. Okay. And then I saw a flood of colours. Oh. I saw yellow to green, um, finishing with a, a lovely purple colour. Mm. That sort of shot off into the distance. It was beautiful. Oh. So your own kind of meditation. Mm. It's a nice place to be, isn't it? It's lovely. Yeah. Oh. So I'm hoping your shoulders and your scalp and mm. your back and everything will feel good and balanced and... I'm sure. A really good thing about Indian head massage is, and you've heard me say it a few times during the treatment, it gets rid, it eliminates. Yeah. So any worries and fears and hang-ups and thoughts and all that clutter in our heads, it gives it permission to go mm. and leaves a lot of space. And it's nice to have space. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I feel. Oh. Thank you. Mm. 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 Right. Happy Christmas, guys. Happy Christmas.